Nestled high in the mountains, the tiny village of Herberton in far north Queensland seems an unlikely centre for international espionage. But each year thousands of people flock here to see the only spy camera museum in the country. While it may seem like something out of a James Bond flick, these cameras are the real deal, once owned by spies during a time when the Soviet Union and the US stood on the brink of nuclear war. There's the KGB buttonhole camera. The button comes through there, the cable goes into the back of the pocket, so he just puts his hand in his pocket, squeezes the cable and takes the photo. The cigarette spy camera. The Russians are looking for you. They wait outside your embassy, say so you're working in London. You come out of the embassy, they walk up to you with the cigarette, ask you for the lie and then take your photo. And this vintage beast from Soviet Russia. Photographer Michael Peterson took over the business from real-life Australian spy Roy Jacques, who used several of the cameras during secret missions in Korea. Thousands of cameras have since been added to the collection. Some were just in backyard sheds that Grandad had put in the shed and the kids had found it and Grandad had passed away. Not even the people who built the spy cameras knew what they were making. So each part's built in a different factory. So production-wise, anyone who works on that camera has no idea what the part is. He's had some interesting visitors over the years. I've had lots of spies and uh, people that have worked for the military in photographic departments doing surveillance and stuff like that. Who would have thought a fake dog poo could save lives? This is a radio transmitter used in the Vietnam War by US pilots who had crashed their planes and needed to send their location back in secret. The museum not only boasts Australia's largest collection of spy cameras, but also rare 19th century models. A moment in time captured. Christy Sexton-McGrath, ABC News, Herberton.